Cannot score anyone now. Any, any from this point, if I score anyone like Marcus, who is late, uh, it will be recorded. Okay? Yeah. Actually, it's already recorded. Eight point five. Let's start. Now, I think you all know by now that. Thank you. Look up. Hey. Um, F prime x denotes dy dx. I think you all know by now. F double prime x denotes uh, you differentiate dy dx one more time. All right. Can I emphasize that it is d two y dx squared? So when I write it, it is when I write it is d two y dx squared. Okay, the 2y dx squared. It denotes differentiating dy dx one more time. Okay, is that right? So if you differentiate many times, let's say we give f triple prime x is actually the 3y dx cubed. That means you diff is actually differentiating the 2y dx squared again. Okay. This is an example. Is that all right? Now, I think you, all, you have learned this before. I just want to emphasize again. This square, that means differentiating dy, you have dy dx squared is not the same as the 2y dx squared. I don't think I need to elaborate. I give you an example and you will know. Okay? I'll give you an example. I'll give you a simple example if I tell you y equals to sine x. You will know that the left hand side and right hand side are not the same. Correct? If you differentiate one time, you get cosine x. You square, you get cosine square x. Differentiating two per times, you get differentiating sine, you get cosine x. Differentiate cosine x, you get negative sine x. So left hand side, right hand side, obviously not the same. Okay? All right. Want to say more? Let's do an example. Um, you have y equals to this. You are supposed to prove this. Now, you, the moment you see this, you will. Observe that you immediately need to have a d2y dx squared. Obviously, you differentiate y two times. This is the first time I'm not going to elaborate. Assuming you know how to get from here to here. How do we differentiate this from here to here? Which is also not difficult. Ah. Right? Let's do this very quickly. Differentiate 2ax, you get 2a. Yep. Um, how do we differentiate this? Some of us may be may not be very comfortable, may want to write it as minus b x to the power of minus 2. If I write it like that, then you will be able to differentiate it better. You bring the my negative 2 down, then you get plus 2b x to the power of negative 3. Correct? To the power of negative 3. So actually you have a plus 2b x cubed. So far so good. Yes, so far so good. Now, but actually you want to prove this, you want to get this. You already have d2y dx squared. What I need to do is to multiply both sides by x squared. Multiply both sides by x squared. I'll get a x squared 2a plus 2b over x cubed. Now your objective is to get to this 2y on the left hand on the right hand side. Now how do I get to 2y? Um, what I will do is, I think I need a 2. I'll factorize the 2 out. I multiply the x squared in. Yep. I need the 2 out. I multiply the x squared in. I get ax squared plus b over x. I think the answer is out. Correct? This ax squared plus b over x here looks exactly like this. So this is 2y, that's shown, proven. Done. Ah, uh, too easy, too easy. Okay, can we move a bit faster? Can? Get on, get on. Good. Ah, you remember our friend implicit differentiation? Remember or don't remember? Sorry, it's the principle. But still can reject call, never mind. Why not? Lecturer! 
ได้ unless she come in now lah then no choice lah then say bye bye to you lah oh no recorded ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่สุกิสุกิ later ได้ record ยาเดอร์ lecture ดูเองโอเค she said sorry press wrong นะเนี่ยมาเนี่ย <laughs> Implicit differentiation. Uh, remember our friend, let's say you have something like that. I don't know whether you recall. What we need to do is to differentiate left hand side and right hand side with respect to x. Now, this, then we differentiate term by term. This one no issue, this one no issue, we can differentiate. But we need to learn how to differentiate like things like 4y squared. Right? Differentiate things like 4y squared. What happens if you want to differentiate 4y squared? Let, let me use an example that is a lot easier. Uh, okay, let's go through the rule first. Now, how do we differentiate something which is a function of y? I want to differentiate this expression which is a function of y with respect to x. So the idea is this. Okay, look up, huh? First, it is actually chain rule. Why, why is it chain rule? I differentiate this function with respect to y first, then times dy dx. Correct? You differentiate this expression with respect to y first, then times dy dx. I use a simple example to illustrate. I'm not going to use example 7a, I'm going to use example 7b now. Okay, let's zoom in. How do we differentiate y squared? The idea is you differentiate this y squared with respect to y, which is not difficult, it is just 2y. Correct? Correct? No, no problem. Because if you differentiate x squared with respect to x, you will get 2x. You differentiate y, y squared with respect to y, obviously you will get 2y. Correct? Then after that, you have to multiply by a factor dy dx. It's actually chain rule. Okay, I, I, I use an example chain rule to, to help you all recall. Huh? Recall chain rule. Huh? If I differentiate sine x whole thing square, what do I get? How do I differentiate sine x whole thing square? You, you, you know how to differentiate x square. You know how to differentiate x squared, so f obviously you get 2 sine x. Then after that, what do you do? You multiply by the differential of sine x. Follow what I'm saying? So therefore, you will get a 2 sine x cosine x. What is cosine x here? This is differentiating sine x with respect to x, correct? Correct? So it's the same idea. I differentiate, I differentiate y square, I differentiate this, I treat this as if it is x, I bring the 2 down and then 2y. But I need to differentiate y one time. When I differentiate y one time, what do I get? I get dy dx. Done. Got it? Got it? Or don't get it? Isn't this implicit differentiation? Never learned before, ah? Got learned before? Never, oh, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Now you learn all? <laughs> no, 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 now you learn. Ah. Ken? Is it, is it, is it all right? One more time, ah. I, I explain one more time. This one you understand? Understand, right? This is chain rule. Chain rule. You bring the two down, you get two sine x. Then you differentiate the thing inside once, you get two sine x. Got it? This one. You treat this y as if it's x. You bring the two down, you get two y. You differentiate y one time, you get dy dx. Done. This is chain rule. Okay? Okay, use one more example to help us. Okay? Okay, one more time, ah. Huh? Uh, I'll give you one more example. You got space, you all just go and copy. Okay, one more example. Example. Another example. Differentiate. Say, 
Sign white, what do we get? What do you get? You all do, 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 write down, write down. Give you all 30 seconds, write down. Differentiate, sign white, what do we get? You know how to differentiate sign x, right? So we differentiate with respect to, differentiate sine y like that, you get a cosine y. But you you treat this as if it's x, so you get a sine cosine. Okay, but you have to differentiate this guy once. Right, you have to differentiate y one time. What do we get? You get dy dx. Got it? <laughs> I went through Chenu. You all remember Chenu or not? Wow, interesting. One more time. And, okay, you don't need to copy if you already understood. Huh? Do you all know how to differentiate sine x squared? If you understood chain rule, if you understood chain rule, you would have known how to differentiate sine x squared. Can I have attention please? Uh, if you understand it, you don't talk so loud, okay, can? Thank you. Sine x squared, how do we differentiate? You will treat this if it's as if you know how to differentiate sine x, right? So therefore it's cosine this. Then, you have to differentiate this one time, you will get a times a 2x. So, actually the principle is very simple. Right? I, I, I tell you, I tell you, okay? I, that means it's this, right? If I dif okay, wait. differentiate sine something, we'll always get cosine something times this star where, where this star is differentiated with. This star is what happens when you differentiate this thing once. Got it? Got a pattern? Got an idea? Differentiate sine, you always get cosine, but you have to multiply by a factor, which is the effect of, of differentiating this one time. That's all. Got it? Spot pattern. Ah. But of course, this will not be a exhaustive formula because this only works for sine. Then you work the other side. What happens if you differentiate cosine? What happens when you differentiate cosine? Then you will get negative sine, this thing. You still need a star, correct? You still need a star. This star is differentiating this one. Right. So, Therefore, if you differentiate sine x squared, you will get cosine x squared. Multiply by what? Multiply by a differential of x squared. Done. Okay, shall not do say too much, otherwise you will get more and more confused. Okay, now what happens, can have attention please, when you have a product? That means you have x times y squared. Now you work the same way. Can have attention, huh? You all know product rule, right? So can we use a product rule here? Because it's a simple, it is x times y squared. This is one, this is two, correct? So product rule will tell you that you keep this, differentiate y squared, you get two, you get this. I'm not gonna tell you how to differentiate this here. Lah. Then you keep y squared times the differential of x. This one is just simple product rule. Now, now we have to solve what happens if you differentiate y squared. So you keep this one x, this one, already found here. But let's practice one more time. Differentiate y squared, you will get a times a 2y dy dx. Does it make sense to all of us? Oh, because you know how to differentiate x squared, differentiate y squared is 2y dy dx. Then, the next part is easy because we all know how to 
differentiate x with that one, they get y squared. Uh, rewriting it a bit better, you get 2xy dy dx plus y squared. Okay? Now, this is a bit different, but it's just that changing the x to change the y to u. All right, you differentiate this with respect to u first, then times the u dx. So you get 3u squared u dx. I shall not elaborate. I shall not elaborate. Don't be so loud. Ah. Huh? Okay? Example 9. Example 8, sorry. Okay, pause the video for a while. Otherwise, the video too long, I'm not very nice to watch. <laughs> 